Enrique's like, I told them the truth. And she was like, that you are really that gossip channel bitch. You know, because mind you, from season one, there was a whole debacle. And we all know that Miss Wendy's old dusty, mean ass bitch. She just needs some dick. Miss Wendy, girl, find you a boyfriend, girl. Find someone to eat that motherfucking media puss. Because what you did to Miss Poulain was fucked up last season. And you're reaping what you sowed this season, girl. Rightfully so. You can't be nasty to people, girl. And not expect some things to happen to you. Even your own mother had to educate you on that in this season. Hello. But um, that happened, girl. People are recording, so they're like, girl, let's just go. So they end up dispersing, girl. What else we got, girl? So out of all of this, she ends up like leaving school, girl, like the freedom that kids have these days, it just, it, it, especially in shows, and y'all want to worry about the power of influence and media and stuff like that, but even in the white shows, you see these kids can be at all times of night without no consequences, ain't no parents blowing up their phone, girl, these motherfuckers, and we see that in this show too, and we're going to talk about that rich bitch lifestyle, hello God, the pitfalls of having money, girl and the blessings too behind it that we need to be appreciative of. So Poulang rushes out of school and she needs to just talk to Miss Zuma, honey. So she pulls her out of her practice and they have a conversation about, you know, what just transpired at Miss Poulang's school between her and Felique. And again, sound advice, girl, like, you have a really good friend. I really hope that you appreciate Zuma, girl, because she really puts everything to the wayside to meet your fucking needs. We already went down that road. We don't need to live there again. But shout out to Zuma and bitches like her. Amen. We need more of her in this life. Child. And Miss Felique, why are you acting so surprised that the girl was having a threesome? We saw her have a threesome. So we know you saw it and probably heard it. Hello, God. Shit. So, we get into class, child. KB does end up confronting Felique about, you know, the whole situation. Because y'all remember that Felique, honey, and KB used to go out together. This is such a strange world, child. Like, I can't know. I cannot even look at a bitch who's with my, my old nigga. Like, especially that close to part in time. Girl, please. I will be wearing your ass out, Miss Boulang. Okay. Girl, you done came to the school, tried to do. I, you could see how people look at her, though. They question this girl's integrity and her character throughout this these entire two episodes, girl. Like, it's believable though. If we weren't curview to the ins and outs of what Miss Poulain is really going through, we would assume that damn Miss Poulain, girl, you want some single white female shit. You know what I'm saying? Back the fuck up for Miss Felique, okay? But thank God we know the teeth, so we can kind of like have a heart for you. But bitch, I still be like, girl, please, you know. All right, so child, we already talked about Miss Wendy. She was having issues um, adjusting after losing her position as school editor. You know, she gets great. We already talked about the advice her mom gave her. Um, Felique ends up having a conversation with her father, and he says some crazy ass fuck shit, right? Girl, tell me why this man is sitting here volunteering information that could aid in the reason why she's questioning this whole fucking, you know, DNA situation and Poulain's story. She got into an accident when she was younger where she hit her head and drowned in the pool. She had to get emergency surgery and apparently needed a blood transfusion. Both mother and father were not a match. By him offering that information makes me think that he's not aware. If all of this is true, we can now rule out the father. Because if you're aware of all of these conspiracies, why would you willingly offer that crucial piece of information that that obviously Miss Felipe, she gave that bitch that look like, oh, really? That bitch Tulane may be right after all. God damn. You know what I'm saying? So he don't know about it. But if you look at the way the mother is moving, she may have something to do with all of this shit. And you know how some, like Victoria girl, who have and have not type of bitches, they don't keep their husband abreast of anything, girl. The I'm telling you, girl, this is a really good fucking show. Get into it, honey, okay? Girl. So, 
So KB is like over the foolishness with Poulain girl. So they're up at his house and they're supposed to be studying. Well, he's probably just trying to get him some pussy child, okay? But girl, um, he's just like, is any of this true? Like, I don't know what to believe anymore. Like, you need to reassure me, girl. And Poulain just like, he, he like loses it with her and tells her to get the fuck out. And then Miss Poulain, girl, she is such a good actor, child. Like, girl, you better handle it, girl. Not only are you acting on the show, but you're acting, acting with your man, girl. She busted out in tears and told this bold-faced lie. That does seem believable if you weren't aware of the tea. And he's like, oh my God, you know, I feel so bad for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mind you, KB's father is also part of this so-called conspiracy in the adoption ring, girl, okay? Adoption forgery ring or whatever they call it. So, girl, she has to, and this is my thing. Let's talk about them real quick. Um, Miss Poulang, the same way you used Wade, are you using KB for the same reason? Do you really love him? Because episode one and two just depicted you using him. So we're going to get into that as well. So, bitch, you sat there, told this man you had to use the bathroom. Then you started looking through his shit. Because Ms. Zuma did give you some good advice in the beginning. And she did say, girl, if the father is part of this, there could be some evidence around the house. So now she's using her access as, you know, the wife of KB girl to gain access to the goddamn castle. She's rummaging and shit. This bitch goes all the way to the goddamn garage, looking around the fucking dad, pulls in girl. She's hiding in the car and shit. He snatches the life out of her ass. The episode ends. Miss Poulang, I'm gonna need you to get it to fucking gather, girl. Your I Spy game has to be on point. And I hope it changes throughout this motherfucking season. Cause you're doing too much, bitch. Okay? Yes. All right, so let's get into episode two. So episode two, child. Girl, it starts off with Poulang and her lying ass ways, girl. She tell, mind you, last episode she was snatched at the end from the father. Like, girl, what's the tea? So she gets up and this girl can lie on a dime, honey. I, and I'm here for it, girl. You gotta protect yourself. I hear it, girl. She came up with a good old excuse. I don't even remember it. That's how good it was. Shit. Okay. Ooh, where am I at, girl? Where's my notes? Okay. Girl, so Felike told her counselor the actual truth. And the counselor just keeps pushing it. We already talked about that earlier where she's just heavily invested in these girls' the situation. Obviously, she knows what's going on because Felike's mother made it possible for this bitch to be employed there. To Her job is to get the tea, bitch. Hello. And that shows how powerful the mother is. I think we need to start paying attention to that. It may seem small, but that mother has enough power to actually create a position for someone and put them in a school like that. Girl, please, you have power. It's not just your money, girl, your influence. The girls are scared of Miss Victoria, <laughs> bitch, okay? Um, so from that conversation with the counselor, I think Felipe just felt inspired and was like, you know what, girl, let me push my feelings to the side because I need to know too. And just based off what her father told her in the previous episode, girl, now I have more doubts than ever. Let's clean this shit the fuck up right here and now. So she agrees to do the DNA test with Miss Poulain, honey. Um, we do end up finding out that that blood test came back negative for a match, but like we talked about earlier about the situation, I think that shit was rigged. I think that shit was rigged and probably not for nefarious reasons, okay? So girl, we get to this scene where the gay couple, they are rummaging, you know, they're trying to get theirs, honey. And I wanted to talk about that character, the white boy. Forgive me, I did not get his name. Was it Tony? Or... I forget, girl. Sorry if I forget your name. But um, again, we're talking about the B characters. We're opening up their life a little bit. We're adding interest and intrigue to their storylines. And rich doesn't always symbolize happy. I want to get people to understand that money does not buy happiness, but I also agree the only people that say the type of shit are the bitches who ain't never been poor. Okay, poverty is no joke, girl. 
Being hungry is no joke, girl. Being thirsty is no joke. Being able to, the things that y'all rich bitches take for granted, I really want y'all to think about not having that type of access or resource. So the same way y'all feel about just because you got money, you ain't happy, that's, that's your fault, bitch. I'm not saying you can buy happiness, but bitch, you need to start being appreciative of that fucking wealth, that power, that, that the idea that you can wake up every day and not want for anything. Bitch, please, gas is high right now. Rich people ain't worried about that shit. Girl, please. So y'all need to stop with that, that narrative, girl, because bitch, if you don't want your money, you can give it to a bitch like me then. I'll take it for you. But it just goes to show that even when you have everything, girl, you're not happy. He really just wants the love and respect and the attention from his actual parents who are always gone, girl, traveling the globe and doing shit and not really being there for their child. And we see, girl, if you got money, you might as well try to fill your life with things that you think will make you happy. That could also be why he's in this whole polyamorous kind of like stage in his life. He's trying to fill these voids with people, places, and things, you know, and it's just not going to work out for you because that's really self-destructive behavior. You need to talk to somebody. And one thing I love about this show too, they directly, indirectly promote, you know, mental health and mental wellness, girl. Like, bitch, go talk to someone, girl. Get you a counselor, bitch. Okay. But yeah, they get to the man's house. He thought the parents weren't there. They're trying to fuck child that's a whole mess i don't even feel like that was a worthy place for me to even talk about so girl pulang and her mom just end up going at it because pulang is late um wade is a snitch ass nigga and i'm just over him girl i'm just over him like i understand his character is needed and we may see a glow up of growth later on down the road but as of right now like wade you are a cornball nigga like you are lame as fuck like you got that girl in trouble but Miss Poulain can't get mad because the way you've been using and abusing him, girl, you know what I mean? Shit. But they end up going, her and her mom end up going at a child, something serious, and she's just like, first of all, I, this is an African household, so I expect someone to get the shit slapped out of them for disrespecting their mom and their daddy. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, I was in whole foster care um, homes, bitch. And them black motherfuckers didn't play with me. <laughs> they sure did. And you you thought, oh, you can't touch me, bitch. You please. <laughs> they will smack the life force out of your ass. So, girl, I understand y'all trying to give us some room because y'all got a lot of drama going on within the family. And, you know, that seeps off into their children. So, I get it. We ain't gonna whoop your ass now, bitch, because we understand this is a special circumstance. But next time, girl, we're gonna slap your ass to high heavens, honey. Okay? Hmm. So, um, Reese is selling, yeah, so we find out that Reese is actually selling drugs, bitch, so that she can pay for her mother to go to some type of, you know, mental facility to get some type of help, girl. What a way to humanize the, her character, right? I, again, I love going in depth on character stories and shit like that because, like, we really pull back those layers and we see what the motivation is, and I respect the motivation. You're not comfortable, girl. You, you're around all this opulence and your friends got money and shit and you don't. You ain't trying to have them bitches in your business the same way she never told old boy about the situation with her mom. And you see how he just fell asleep on her motherfucking ass as she's trying to tell, open up a little bit. Like, that's the thing rich people need to understand. It's not all about you, bitch. Like, your friends go through real human-like shit too. But how can people know if they're not aware, Miss Reese? You gotta open up and tell the tea, girl. That's what friends are for. Friends, how many of us have them? Friends, yes, bitch. Ones we can depend on. Friends, I'm just telling you, girl, like y'all gotta open up a little bit more. She tried and then she saw that it was a complete failure because bitch, you're talking to a drunk ass man who's going through his own little bits of trauma. But Reese, shout out to you for at least trying to open up, girl. And shout out to you for your hustle, your grind, and trying to make things happen for your mother, honey, okay? Yes. Um, and Reese, and I love her again. We got to talk about that scene with her and the professor where she was like, hey, how do you introduce a new product into whatever, whatever? And the teacher just gave her game. So, bitch, excuse the planes, child. 
So, bitch, I was here for that little... Reese was like, girl, hello, we finna step our pussy up, bitch, in the drug industry, and we're gonna sell these girls everything we can and make as much profit as we can so that I can send my mother up to see the Wizard of Oz girl so he can um, fix her brain. Amen? Yes, God. Um, no shade to, you know, I support mental health. I was, you know. <laughs> so, Poulang, bitch, how you gonna forget your nigga's birthday? Did you even know his birthday? But again, are we surprised? Because like we talked about before, this bitch don't give a fuck about nobody. She is using everyone to get what she wants. And the only reason she agrees to throw this party is because she thinks she's going to find some information, which we'll talk about later. That's the only reason. And it's so fucked up because like with these types of shows, we already know what's going to happen. Once the shit hits the fan and all the tea is released, KB and everyone she's been in contact with is going to think, damn, this bitch just used me for that. So the cookie is going to crumble, girl. The castle, bitch, is going to be swarming with your enemies, girl. So be careful, Miss Poulang. Be careful, girl. Stop using people. And KB really does love all this pussy he could be getting out here, girl. Girl, you better watch your step, bitch. I'm just saying, though, girl, like, it's so fucked up, girl. It's so fucked up. How she just uses people. Um... I wanted to note here, bitch, Miss Counselor Fish is living that life. When I talked about sceneries and opulence early on in the video, this is what I was talking about. That scene was captured beautifully, honey. Y'all are sitting pretty, bitch. And that's what the fuck I like to see. Shout out to Africa again, honey. I love y'all motherfuckers. Oh, yes, honey. Yes, 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 honey. So the new boy, that comes to the school and he's trying to flirt with Miss Felique Child and get all up in her pussy, honey. Um, we that's Miss Counselor Fish's son. So something again, man, something ain't right here. Like I, I have to finish this season. I really, really do. Like I have to finish the season because I want to I want to see if I'm right. I know that sounds like real narcissistic and self-absorbing type of tease, but I want to see if I'm right because. Mm, I think she's nasty but nice. I think she everything she's doing is for we already talked about it, girl, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna see. Girl, so um I'm over like the way Poulain treats Wade. Like we already talked about that. Like Wade, grow some fucking nuts, nigga. Like seriously. His name is oh his name is Mark. The white boy's name is Mark. They get caught smoking, child, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, child, so Felipe and Nube ends up going to the prison. Girl, because Miss uh, Felipe, mind you, last episode, Miss Poulain and Wade went to the prison to go meet the girl who was charged with the adoption of fraud, right? Child, so this season, Miss Felipe is like, girl, let me go here and talk to this fish and show her some pictures. So she goes there, you know, she shows us, she says, no, I don't know these people, but then. Was the photo of KB's father? I think the photo was of KB's father. And that's when Prison Fish was like, girl, I, ain't, I, girl, I don't know what you're talking about, girl. She took it real serious then, honey. So that also aid, aided Miss Felique in saying, girl, let me just go ahead and take this DNA test again. Mm. And even if y'all motherfuckers ain't really sisters at the end of the day, there's still some nefarious ass bullshit going on late in the midnight hour as it pertains to KB's father and all of the bullshit and your father and your family too, girl. Your your mother more specifically, Miss Felique. Okay. So They end up having a, a party for um, KB down at his father's other property where, you know, Miss Poulain believes she'll find some evidence, girl. And it seems like a really cute party. KB is drunk off of his rocker child. And I just really think that he's just so depressed that Miss Pou he senses Miss Poulain is not who she says she is. He's also starting to more, more, than, more than likely believe the bullshit surrounding her name. And I, I hate to say it, Miss Poulain, if you bringing it on yourself, girl. So she is searching this man's house. First of all, I don't like a plunderer. Bitch, why are you going through people's drawers and shit? But I understand why, girl, whatever. 
So Wade, his dumbass, and Miss Zuma wrapped up in her drama, um, trying to be good friends though at the same time. So I'll give it to them. They go up and they start searching, girl. First of all, why was KB dressed like a minion on his birthday? I just was like, so is bitch you're rich and it's your birthday, girl. Like, is that what y'all wear to celebrate? Because girl, no, you should be stunning on the kids, KB, okay? So Zuma ends up going through, rummaging through the attic or basement, whatever that is, and is looking through old files and she ends up finding payment receipts that have to do with the adoption fraud situation. So that's where we end on um, Blood and Water, girl. Make sure you guys get into the show. Season one was really good. Make sure you get into it. Obviously watch season two right after. Get into the reviews. Um, I also was inspired to do this review by the Cat's Meow. He was like, child, you just you should review it. It's really good. So um, I'm here for it and I'm glad I'm getting into it. Sorry that this one is a little bit longer. Um, but the other ones should be shorter, I promise, okay? So continue to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, yeah, definitely engage with this one, honey, because, girl, I love it, girl. I'm really into this girl, okay? Tap your notification bell. That way you're updated every time I'm uploading something new. Remember to be blessed and never stressed, and that health is wealth, bitch. All right, y'all, take care. Bye.